All right, here we go. I've got the Pixhawk 4, and I'm really excited. This just came in the mail, and this is gonna be going on my Terra 650. And so I just wanna open it up and give you guys kind of a look at what you get when you buy a Pixhawk 4. So, first look. Now you can buy a bunch of different types of packages. Mine was the Pixhawk 4 flight controller, GPS module, power management, board, cable sets, and then see obviously the telemetry radio is not included there. But that's okay, I have other ways to get telemetry. So, comes with a bunch of different things. But here's the board. And it's relatively small. You know, I mean, it's really small, and especially if you compare it to um, a standard, you know, older Pixhawk. It's about the same um, size-wise, but the, the thickness, I mean, it's like half the size, half the thickness, and so it just feels really small in the hand in comparison. But that's also because you don't have any of the, uh, the, the ports on the back like you do the bigger Pixhawk, and that's all put on here on the power management board. So let's see if I can get that opened up. All right, there you go, that's what you get. So it comes with, obviously, the flight controller. Mine comes with this power management module, and you can get just the regular power modules that doesn't have the the um, ESC connections and other things like that. If you have an internal power distribution board on your quad, then you might not need this. But then it comes also with the GPS stand, and then all these cables. So this is going to be quite the project getting this all set up, and I'm pretty excited about it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Um, so if you're interested in learning how to set this up, make sure you subscribe. I'll be coming out with videos on how I set this up with my Terrett 650 Sport. So you've got lots of cables here. I think they give you a lot of extras too. I'm going to have to go through and see what all these are for. And you got some foam foam pads. So that will be kind of a, this is how you'll mount, you'll mount a couple of these on there and it's gonna keep the vibration from going on to the flight controller. So it also comes with all this. Let's see what we got. So we got, looks like some kind of user manual for the, P the Pixhawk 4. And we also got one for the power module. Okay, that's nice. Gonna give us all the information there. Some stickers and another PX4. Okay, so here's a, here's a description of all the different cables and what they are for. That's actually really nice. Okay, and it gives you a little setup instructions. One advantage I'm already seeing right off the bat with these new Pixhawks compared to the older ones is that it has these little, um, it has different types of pin, pin ins, so there's different connectors, and they're clipping, so they don't, can't just pull them right out. You actually have to press the little tab down to get it out. So that's gonna be nice, you can, there's no way it's gonna just vibrate on out of there, or if you didn't get it in all the way, you know, and it's just kinda sitting on there, on the outside coming and wanting to fall off, it's not just gonna fall off in mid-flight or something crazy like that. Or in mid-flight, something somehow gets twisted and tugged on and pulled out. So that that's really nice. I really like these little clips. And that goes for all of them. Every single one of these ports has these clipping, these different types of clips. So we'll see how they, they work in the long run. Um, but from what I can tell, these are gonna be far superior than what used to be on the Pixhawks. So in my opinion, this seems like a lot of bang for your buck. You're getting your flight controller, your power distribution board, GPS, all the wiring you need, even extra little things here and there. I mean, you're getting a lot. And 
it's only about $200, and that's pretty good considering your older Pixhawks. You're looking around 130, 140 anyways, and this is gonna have a lot better hardware on it. Now, it doesn't have the isolated IMU like the Pixhawk 2.1, um, where it has you know the big cube on it. So there are some drawbacks to this compared to like the 2.1. However, I haven't seen a lot of people build with this on YouTube, and so I'm excited to put a build together and see what happens. I want to document it so other people can make you know, their own decisions whether they go with the Pixhawk 4 or the Pixhawk 2.1 Cube. You, there's really a lot of different options, and I just want to see if this is a good one. And I have a feeling it's going to be, so follow along with me, and hopefully you can get something out of this because there are gonna be a lot more videos and a lot more builds um, related to this Pixhawk 4, and I think it can help you out. So be sure to smash that like button and hit subscribe so you can learn about all the new things I'm doing with it.